Matter? All right, Mark, John Lassie, a veteran, tough guy, well-rounded. Defensively, was he uh, where you thought he would be? Was he as strong defensively as you had expected? Yeah, he's very tough. Uh, he's got about 50 fights, so, I mean, he's, you know, he's not a super specialist in any area, but his experience and caginess you know, allow him to capitalize when someone makes a mistake, and due to his experience, he's not going to fade, and that can be the most dangerous type of opponent. So, uh, you know, I've only had 15 fights, so there's a lot to work on, but uh, you know, winning's winning. Was there a particular kind of attack you wanted? Were you, were you looking for the back? Were you looking for maybe... Uh, you passed his guard quite a bit, but not really moved to nothing that much. What were you looking for? Uh, I wanted to make it more of a wrestling match. Um, you know, with that being said, that may not be the most uh, fan-friendly type of fight in general, but uh, once you stop taking your strengths to your opponent's weaknesses, you're no longer intelligent than any fighter. So uh, I tried to stay active on the ground. I wished uh, round two and three would have looked more like one. Um, but, uh, you know, he's tough. They don't always go as planned. I tried to be ready for three rounds. Uh, but uh, the goal is just to keep getting better and better. Were you surprised that you weren't able to go for more submission attempts in that fight? Um, it wasn't so much to go for more submission attempts, but after I get the takedown, to not let him get back up. Uh, I let that happen in the, in the second and third round, so uh, I just like to work on my, uh, my stabilization on top a little bit more and uh, even further more aggressive with the ground and pound. Why was George holding your shorts open? Was that just to let you breathe more? I was just curious. <laughs> I actually don't remember that, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> I would think it would be just for uh, for air. <laughs> was was Alessio as strong as you anticipated when you locked up with him? More or less, yes. But I I, I figured that uh, wrestling would be his weakest point, and he seemed from from his past tape, it seemed like uh, uh, defensive wrestling scrambles uh, seemed to make him most tired. So uh, I'm usually pretty good at grinding people, so I tried to uh, I tried to make it more of a wrestling type of match because I knew he would. Start down a little bit before me and I could kind of feel it when I would get the takedown. That's uh, that's clearly where he wasn't as efficient and wasting most time. Do you feel like you deserve a guy in the top ten next? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the goal is to keep fighting tough opponents. Uh, you know, John's a different type of opponent than Matt Wyman. He has more experience overall, but not in the UFC. But, uh, you know, he, I, I guess equally as tough, but uh, got to be ready for whoever. Mark, you guys rotated with wins and losses in the last uh, four fights. Got to feel good to lose put your second straight uh, when you're all circling and straight going. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I've never got in this to lose fights, but uh, you know, you, you fight the best guys in the world. In the world, you, you know, you're going to lose sooner or later. Um, it was never easy, but the main goal was to just uh, keep learning and growing. I only have 15 fights, so you know, I've had hundreds of jiu-jitsu matches. So it, it still takes a bit, and coming from the grappling background, it takes. Uh, it, it takes time to learn striking, but uh, you know, slowly but surely. With, uh, so with, uh, with three Canadian events coming up, I'm guessing the uh, hope would be that you'd be on one of those cards. Yeah, I'd absolutely like to be on uh, on the on the later ones, but it was a it was a tough camp, tough fight. So the def body definitely needs to unplug a little bit. But uh, yeah, Montreal or Toronto would be fantastic. Is the striking clearly the, the area that you want to work on the most? Or do you still spend more time improving your, your grappling, keep your grappling great? Well, you, you, can't, you can't forget your strengths. You can't forget what got you there. Um, you know, but with certain type of opponents, you need to show some versatility. Uh, the idea in this particular fight was to, uh, to make it more of a wrestling match, because that's where he seemed to, f to fade and have the most trouble in his previous fights that I studied, his more recent fights. But, uh, you know, I definitely have to keep working on my striking, no question, and uh, just, you know, be as, uh, be as well-rounded as I can, have as many tools as I can. Thank you guys.